Hello everybody and welcome to the YouTube channel of Skip Allen. This video is in response to a question from Painter Talk. And the question is, I would like to make selections in Photoshop. I then open image in Painter with loaded selection. When I clone that image, the selection disappears. Is there a way for the selection in the newly opened image to also be carried into a clone of that selection? Uh, yes, John, there is a way to do that if I understand you correct. Uh, your question correctly. So let's go over to Painter. What I have here is Water Iris 2 PSD. This is a file that was created in Photoshop and I created three alpha channels inside Photoshop. Now, you've got to understand that if you make your selection in Photoshop, you need to save that selection as an alpha channel. And that way it'll bring the selection over into Painter. Okay, once you get the image into Painter, now you want to make a clone of it. To do that, you go to Windows, Clone Source. Now, I'm not going to go up to File, Quick Clone, or Clone. I'm going to create the clone using the Clone Source panel. And I do that by clicking on Open Source Image, and then I select any image that's open in Painter will be listed here. But I select the image that I want to be the clone source. And in this case, I want my Water Iris 2 PSD to be the clone source. So I select it. That creates the clone source. And now this document is the clone rather than the original. Okay, so if you had multiple channels, more than likely, the, I mean multiple layers, more than likely those layers will be flattened. But the good news is all of your channels are still there. So the first thing you want to do is go up to File and Save As, and you save it as a RIF file. Oops. There, RIF file. And you want to do this, I've already done this several times. <laughs> anyway, you want to do this because the RIF file is the only one that keeps the clone information. Once you get all your cloning done, you can change it over to PSD file and you'll lose the clone information and you can go back to uh, Photoshop, but your channels will still be there. Okay, so now this is a clone document. What I would probably do is I, I would probably get rid of what uh, is in the uh, the canvas layer. And I would probably add another layer, and then I would go to Select, Load Selection, and I can load one of the alphas that I created in Photoshop. And then if I want to clone paint, I've got the Impressionist Painter here, uh, Impressionist Brush, and it's set on Clone Paint. Then I could come in here and begin to paint using the channel or the selection to help me uh, define the clone painting. And so if I hide the marquee, select, hide marquee, you can begin to see how my selection is working inside of Painter. So there you go. You can uh, make a clone source inside of Painter that retains the channels that you created in Photoshop. Hope that helps. Bye-bye.